up, guys? Fat and funny and Cleo and Callie. But mostly Cleo because she actually likes being in the car. Uh, so, coming to you on the mobile fat and funny unit. Not really. Um, whatever. Uh, so, health update number two. So, greetings guys, hope all is well in your lives. Uh, so, so, it's giving you a, an update today. So, I saw the endocrinologist, the specialist today, um, and I realized in the province of Quebec and probably the rest of Canada, and I can't vouch for the states, um, seeing a doctor kind of feels like this. Bueller. 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 And that's exactly how it felt today. So uh, I've been on Synthroid for three weeks and not understanding my results at all, being told that I only have one off um, thyroid uh, blood test or test blood test that had thyroid information on it. But in fact, I have two out of four yeah, I can count. Um, great for a banker. So the fact that I have actually two off, whatever, I argued as much as I could. Um, I've been told to stop taking Synthroid. Now, I've been taking it for three weeks, or like I think tomorrow or the day after is three weeks. Um, I haven't really worked on the last two weeks. For those who know me, it was Gala Week. I had no available time, so I didn't go to the gym. Uh, I ate, but not consistently. Uh, I drank, but not consistently, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I have been slowly losing weight, like I'm down three, four-ish pounds in the last month, so I think it's working, but the specialist doesn't, I know that doesn't sound right, Cleo, does that sound right, Cleo? She doesn't think it sounds right. And she's a dog. So, I, leaving the appointment, decided that I'm not going to stop the Synthroid, despite the fact that I only have a month of it. But I left that appointment, and I'm... my Here's my reaction. This is exactly where I was. I was in the car. And my only reaction was... Tabarnak! That was my reaction. So... Actually, no, it was more like tabarnak. Um, and so I'm going to keep taking the Synthroid because I'm going to see my family doctor next week to tell her about all this. And, uh, but unfortunately, my family doctor is kind of like the first two examples I gave you earlier. So we're going to see how that goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So when I expressed that losing weight was a challenge and by that non-fucking-existent sorry for the swearing um I was told that the solution was a medication that was injected into me once a day good friends once a day and it would cause my body to think I was full and not be hungry now Maybe some of you out there aren't fat. I certainly am. But I have literally just told this lovely doctor that I eat well, I exercise, and I consistently attend the gym generally. And I've lost seven pounds since November 2017. And her response was, take a $300 injection that you take every single day, and it will make you feel not hungry. Well, listen, Madame Doctor, I have a solution for that. I don't need to spend $300, I just need to do my job and be excessively busy, and I will not eat. I'm trying to be good. Little asterisk for my nutritionist, Julie, don't worry, I have been eating. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> which is right up there with my family doctor who said I should do the starvation diet where I eat 500 calories one day and then whatever I want the next. Kill me now, ladies and gentlemen. This is how I feel. 
So, I keep you posted. I promise you will not lose my mind. I will not fight. stop fighting this. But yeah. It's amazing when something's wrong with you, how hard it is to get anything resolved. And it's amazing the misconception that because you're overweight is because you're not doing something healthy. I have spent the last year trying to change my life. And I know it's a year out of 36 and I need to to look at it as a year out of 36, but it's a year I killed myself. I've never been as diligent as I have. I have never gone to a nutritionist. I've never consistently gone to see somebody. I've never consistently followed. And I have, and I'm getting jack crap nothing out of this. I'm still freaking fat, people. Uh, I know it fits the name. It would be really odd if it was skinny and funny, although it probably works. Uh, I'm gonna go with fit and funny when this finally happens, but you all might be dead by the time that happens. So, um, that's what's going on. I will update next week when I see my family doctor. Um, there might be more swearing. Who knows? We will try. So, for me, Corey, fat and funny. I'm out. For Cleo and Callie, we also out. Behave, be good. Do something good in the world. Peace out. <laughs>